हो पिलामिया तुम काश्या ले लो वो पिला Tun kashira wa kantanka Ambeti kile pilamia Tati adopa wo pila Hello O oh, holy great mystery Thank you for today And thank you for the four winds and the four directions and the four points of the universe the four ages of the earth in the four ages of the human being I thank you for everything that is sacred and holy and good I thank you for the universe which is our tabernacle our house of worship I thank you for the stars which give us direction and tells us the changing of the seasons I thank you for the moon which watches over our women and purifies them naturally. I thank you for the sun, which is the giver of life, of energy to our grandmother the earth, so that she can bring forth all of her children, our relatives, all of life, our relatives. I thank you for our sacred grandmother the earth, And I thank the grandmother of the earth for the black hills, the Pha Sampa, our sacred holy land. Thank you for the water. I thank you for all that the heavens give to us. And I thank you for that power. comes from the moon and from the sun and from our grandmother the earth I thank you for the four winds I thank you especially for the east wind which brings us the morning star and the dawn of a new day so that we may continue today without repeating the mistakes of yesterday Thank you for the south wind which brings us the cleansing and refreshing and warm winds from the south that bring warmth and generosity to our hearts our minds our bodies and our spirit and brings warmth and generosity to our grandmother the earth and all of her children who are our relatives Thank you. For the west wind which brings us the lightning and thunder spirits which gives us the cleansing and refreshing rain which cleanses and refreshes our sacred grandmother the earth and all of her children our relatives. And I thank you. For the cleansing and refreshing brings to our hearts our minds our bodies and our spirit i thank you for the north wind which brings us the white blanket that covers our grandmother the earth in a time of cold and i thank you for those strong and enduring winds from the north which gives strength and endurance to our sacred grandmother of the earth and all of her children who are our relatives and bring strength and endurance to our hearts our minds our bodies and our spirit 
and that east wind which also brings us a newness, a brand new newness to our sacred grandmother of the earth and all of her children who are our relatives and brings a newness into our hearts, our minds, our bodies and our spirits. Again, that warmth and generosity for our hearts, our minds, our bodies, and our spirit. Oh, sacred, holy, great mystery, I want to thank you for all our relatives, especially the wingeds. For all the beings that fly. For I thank you for all their sacrifices and suffering. And for their wisdom and their teachings. I thank you especially for the eagle which flies the highest, sees the furthest, and is faithful to its mate. I thank you for the hummingbird and the bee and everything that has wings for all that they give. I thank you for the four-legged. I thank you for the medicines, the shelter, the clothing, the tools, and all that is holy that the four-legged give to us. I thank you for their food for their wisdom and teachings and for their sacrifices and suffering. I especially want to thank you for the wolf and the buffalo, for they teach us much about family life and the protections that those families deserve and the relationships between all our mothers and our aunties, our auntie mothers, our mother aunties. I want to thank you for all our relatives who crawl and swim and live within the earth. I thank you for their teachings and their wisdoms, their sacrifices and suffering. And all that they give to us, their wisdoms and teachings, their sacrifices and sufferings. And I want to thank you for the food that they give us. I want to thank you for all the green things of the earth, everything that grows within and without the earth. I want to thank you for the trees, especially the sacred tree of life, which represents part of our Lakota nation. We must nourish the tree of life so that it can continue to mend our nation's hoop. Tree of life is the tree with the whispering leaves. I want to thank you for all the medicines. Thank you for the flowers and their sweet smells and their beauty. I want to thank you for their food, for their everything that they give to us. For they are great teachers. Thank you. Okay, again, for all of life, for they are our relatives. And we must respect what they have, what they have to offer with all their strengths and weaknesses. I want to thank you for the Ekdomi, the trickster who teaches us about the failures of life, the foibles of life, so that we can better understand our relationship within that life. And it teaches us how to get along together. Let the family, the clan, the village, the nation, the world, the universe, and on into infinity. I want to thank you for those teachings that teach us 
that our hearts and our minds affect infinity. And all that Chai inspires before you get to infinity, all that, what that means. For it is a heavy responsibility that we must honor those that are sacred, those that produce life, the females of life. For they are stronger than us, can stand more pain than us, live longer than us, and they are purified naturally with the moon. Understanding those meanings allows us to live a free life, free of disease, free of war. I thank you for our languages, for our languages, our, our being, our, our essence. I thank you for the ancestors, for their strengths, their continued communication, and all that they have done before us to prepare this world for our unborn generations. I want to thank you for those unborn generations before that is a great responsibility. You for the teachings that we must leave this life as we came into it so that the unborn can reap the benefits as we have. Oh, holy great mystery. Okay. Thank you for today. Mitako Oyase, we are all related.